In a previous video, we talked about disposable cameras, how these are affordable, easy to use, and a great way to start your photography journey. Then, in another video, we talked about how to unload the film roll from a disposable camera so you can develop the photos and keep the camera and reuse it. And today, we'll continue the process. So, if you're interested in learning how to reload your disposable camera, then this video is for you. Hi, my name is Jorge. Welcome. In this channel, we merge creativity and productivity to try to live a more fulfilling life. Not every disposable camera is easy to open up and to reload. So today we're going to talk about choosing the right camera and we'll continue the process and we'll show you how to reload a disposable camera as well. If you just want to jump straight to the reloading process, that is the timestamp. But for now, let's get started. Although most disposable cameras have a similar build and they offer somewhat okay results, not all of them are built the same. And this becomes really apparent when you try to do something that you're not supposed to, like open one up, unload it, and reload it with a brand new film roll. Some cameras, like the Fujifilm Quick Snap 400, are a bit difficult to open, at least for casual users that don't have experience with film, which makes it a lot more complicated to try to reload later on especially if you intend to do that somewhat frequently or very frequently. When choosing a disposable camera, you normally should choose one because of the actual film roll that's inside or the ease of use and operation, not because of the physical shape or aesthetic of the piece of plastic. However, if you already know you will be reloading the camera and reusing it frequently, then unfortunately, the most important thing is what camera is easy to open up and to reload. And for some of you, people just starting out or inexperienced with film, the ease of operation and reload might even be more important than the brand of the camera that you're buying. Keep that in mind. Instead of working with the Fujifilm Quick Snap 400, today we'll be opening and reloading the Kodak FunSaver disposable camera. Most disposable cameras are somewhat similar. What really differentiates them is the preloaded film roll. This one comes with a preloaded Kodak Gold 800 film, has the same number of exposures as the Fuji camera, 27, but the film sensitivity is higher. ISO 800 makes it a bit better for indoor shooting. The aperture is set at f10, and the focus range is from 1.2 meters to infinity. But what makes this camera great is just how easy it is to open up, unload the film, and reload it again. For the most part, the process is fairly simple and you don't really need any fancy tools. However, you do need to keep in mind that this process is normally done in a photo lab or a dark room, where light is completely absent. So, you need to make sure you have access to a DIY dark room, or film changing back, or anything along those lines. The entire process has to be completed inside the bag or the dark room, otherwise you will ruin the film. You need a brand new film roll, you can buy these individually or you can buy them as a pack. I'll just use an old one for demonstration purposes, otherwise I would be wasting it by exposing it to light. A prying tool like a flathead screwdriver or a guitar pick or something like that will work. In this case, I'll be using an old Timmy's card. If you're Canadian, then you know what I'm talking about. And the last thing we're gonna use is just black electrical tape to seal the camera and prevent any light leaks. I'll show you how to do it later. The very first step is to remove the camera sticker, as the sticker helps keep the camera sealed. Start peeling it from the bottom until you remove the entire back sticker. You can keep the front sticker if you like, for whatever reason, but I'll just be removing it for simplicity's sake. Take your prying tool of choice, in this case a plastic card, and start opening the tabs on the sides. Once you've opened both of the sides, then move to the bottom of the camera. Do not force it too hard. These are just plastic tabs and don't require much force. The small tab located at the top is a little bit delicate, so to protect it, we're gonna open the camera from the bottom just like this. Once we've done that and removed the back plastic cover, then we reveal the interior of the camera. You can go ahead and remove this little plastic protecting tab, and now you can remove both the film spool and the film roll from the camera. And voila, this is it. That's all the moving parts that we're gonna be using today. Before we start the process of loading the film roll, we're gonna have to reset the shot counter. Normally these sort of cameras come down from 27 all the way to zero. So you have to unlock this gear and reset it to the number of exposures you're using, either 27 or 36. Once you've done that, lock it back in place 
and it should be good to go. It should give you an accurate count of the shots now. Now we're ready to start loading the film. Grab your brand new film roll and make sure the holes line up properly with the teeth of the film spool. Once you insert it properly and it's secure into place, you can start rolling up the film from the film roll into the film spool. Be careful not to touch the film directly and leave any fingerprints or dust as that will affect the quality of your photos. Once you've reached the end, or in this case the very beginning of the film roll, you'll see the white strip right here. Now you're ready to slide it into the camera. Make sure it lines up properly and you hold it in place. And now make sure the gears of the film roll line up with the gears inside the camera as well. If all goes well, you should see the strips line up with the actual gears in the camera and that's what makes a film move from side to side. Now you can place back the protected cover of the film roll and you're ready to just slide the back cover of the camera again. Start with the tap on the top and then just gently press. You don't have to press too hard. All it has to do is just seal the camera and that is it. Check that the camera is working properly and that is it. The last thing we're going to do is just grab some black electrical tape and seal the camera on the edges to prevent any light leaks and make sure that it seals properly. And after you're done with that, you are good. You are ready to go, ready to start taking photos. So that is how you reload the Kodak Fun Saver disposable film camera. As always, I'm curious to know what you guys think. Are you using disposable cameras? Are you using digital cameras? Are you interested in reloading it and reusing it? Share your thoughts in a comment down below. That is it for today's video. If you found this video helpful or valuable, please like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram as well. Thank you very much for watching, for giving me your time and your energy, and good luck with your creative process.